Hello. In this tutorial, we will create a hosted tour using GoThrough. Hosted tours can be used for private uh, virtual tours or real estate tours that cannot be uploaded to Google. To create a hosted tour, you just do uh, you create a new tour in GoThrough, similar with uh, the way you create a tour for Google, and uh, you type in the the address of the property that you want to create a host tour for and create that that's great and then create new tour um, once you create the tour the the empty listing you can go ahead and upload your panoramas now I already did that and I will delete this tour and um, this is my listing now one thing that we notice is that we do not have a real CAD from Google here this is an internal go through CAD um, so that's how you distinguish a tour that it's not going to be on Google from a tour that it's going to be on Google um, and then let's go here and obviously you go through the moderation process this video I will not uh, showcase how to moderate there are other videos where you um, can learn how to moderate and we will click on hosting now on the hosting the only thing that we can do right now is just create a tour and we will create the process of creating a tour will start now depending on how many panoramas uh, your tour has it will take uh, longer um, or not uh, to create the tour now one thing that um, we noticed here is that you can upload the logo for your hosted tour and the logo should be a 200 by 200 um, uh, image so in this particular case this is a real estate listing we could for example find for um, um, Remax let's say or Century 21 logo you know? and let's say we wanted 200 pixels by 200 pixels maybe it works I don't know um, let's click on here no, it didn't work. So, just gonna uh, save uh, view image, and I'm gonna save image, and we're gonna open Photoshop and process that image there. Now, in the meantime, the tour actually was created and the sound that you heard is was the email that i i received from go through that the tour was created um and just go ahead and see how the look lo the tour looks um just gonna click on generate tour and the first thing we notice uh, the angle is not the starting angle the panel is not the correct panel so let's close these uh, windows and um, to see how we can address these issues oh, first would be to drag in the first position the panorama that we want uh, as the first panorama oh, in this particular case this is the front and Let's just go ahead and uh, generate the tour again. Now, you see, this is the, the starting panel. Now, in this case, uh, it, 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 it selected the correct uh, um, angle. But if the angle is not correct, we're going to click on that icon, edit angle, and we're going to select uh, a different angle. So let's say this angle and generator so you see it's it's changing the angle it's, it's a different angle so that's how you can control the starting panorama and the starting angle now one thing that um, 
uh, we noticed about the um, hosted tours uh, is that this tour seems to be a bit zoom in uh, and we can address that by going into account settings and increasing the uh, FOV angle so we're gonna put 110 and let's close this and go back to the tour and hosting so now when we're gonna generate gonna see that we the FOV angle is it's much wider so we can see everything now um, other features that we have is like we can create um, uh, let's say the stairs more menus stairs and we're gonna order the menu by uh, arranging the the panels in here uh, actually these are the stairs uh, I'm just gonna delete this and save and that's that's how you delete a menu and stairs save move it on the second position and select the angle which is this is the angle now let's say we want uh, the garden click garden and save and let's go to the master bedroom and the master bedroom uh, it's here and I'm gonna click here master bedroom and save and one extra thing that I want to do here is this is the master bedroom bathroom so I'm gonna create a sub menu and have master bathroom and this is the sub menu so this is the main, uh, main menu and this is the sub menu and we're gonna move it to here now if you wanna order the sub menu you have to put them in order below the menu and this dictate dictates the the order of the menu um, okay so let's generate the tour again and see how the tour looks we have front master bedroom master bathroom stairs garden so let's just go ahead and fix some angles here um, this is the angle I would like here um, and this should be somewhere here this should be somewhere here change the angle here to something like that change the angle here something like this and let's um, generate the tour again so you see everything is moving here now we look at the stairs we got the garden and the master bedroom and the master bathroom so this is how you can create the menu um, and one some extra features that we have here uh, are um, you can auto spin the tour come on let's generate and the tour will start auto spinning you just have to not move your mouse um okay and we're gonna take that i'm not a fan of the spinning uh this is uh, if you don't if you have a tour with levels and you do not want to show the levels you can turn the level levels on and off uh, you can add a link to an external website um so let's just go ahead and 
No. Um, save. And just let's go and um, edit that uh, image that uh, um, with the um, uh, logo. And let me one second. Center it onto one. Actually, I'm gonna use another um, image. Um, okay, so we're gonna use gonna use this image and upload it, and let's reload. The image is here, the uh, URL is here, let us generate the code. And we have the logo and the menu on the side. Already the host the tour looks good. Um, another feature that we have is statistics. Now on this particular tour there are not yet statistics, uh, so um we won't see anything but um we can search some stats and for another tour and let's just wait a bit so these are now how the statistics work uh, and look and you can take this link and share it to your uh, client and this is the uh, visitor numbers uh, per for the last 30 days and you have the from the website that uh, this visitor came uh, you have the browsers that uh, the visitor used and the hours in the last 30 days like when you know, so in, during the night pretty much no one visited the tour um, and in here you have like you, you can see actually uh, today the visitors that actually came to the tour today um, so we see we had like 21 and if any of these uh, guys like visitor 8 you see it came twice on, on the tour so once at uh, it stayed 8 minutes and once it stayed uh, it's just probably open the page uh, a mistake or something but you can see this guy actually Visitor 14 came three times. So you can see like each visitor.